test for independent samples. Uh, so previously we did a test of uh, dependent samples where we had uh, sets of uh, data from the, from the same 20 people, two sets of numbers from the same 20 people, but these are independent samples. Um, a sample of N1 equal 13 smoking areas, uh, areas where smoking is permitted. Uh, the mean carbon monoxide level, X1 bar is 4.6 parts per million with a standard deviation S1 of uh, 8.1 parts per million. And this is taken from the population of all such areas uh, where the mean uh, mu1 is unknown and the standard deviation sigma1 is unknown. We want to compare it to a sample of N2 equal 9 non-smoking areas, areas where smoking is not permitted, with a mean carbon monoxide level X2 bar is 7.3 parts per million, with a standard deviation S2 of 1.9 parts per million. And this is taken from the population of all such areas where the mean uh, mu2 is unknown, with standard deviation sigma2 also unknown. Uh, and we, we're going to assume that the carbon monoxide levels are normally distributed uh, using Mel Welch's method with 90% confidence. Um, uh, we want to uh, test H0, mu1 equal, mu2, carbon monoxide levels are the same, uh, versus HA, mu1 not equal, mu2, carbon monoxide levels are different in the smoking versus non-smoking areas. Um, some authors will state these uh, slightly differently. They'll say, uh, H0 mu1 minus mu2 equals 0 versus HA mu1 minus mu2 not equal to 0. Um, okay, so uh, okay, so 1 minus alpha, our confidence level is 1 minus alpha, which is a decimal is 0 0.9. That means alpha, our level down is 0 0.1, alpha over 2 is 0 0.05. Um, and uh, we're going to be using the t-table. Uh, there's a, sort of a complicated formula for using uh, the um, t-table. Uh, there are a couple of shortcuts that I will uh, get into, um, but um, the more precise way of doing, doing it would be to uh, use this formula here that will give us the row of the t-table. Um, and it's, uh, So it's going to be s1 squared divided by n1 plus s2 squared divided by n2, and then square the whole thing. And then uh, on the denominator, we'll have S1 squared over N1, and that whole thing squared divided by N1 minus 1. And then S2 squared divided by N2, and then square that whole thing, square that quotient, divide that by N2 minus 1. And then we want to add those two numbers. So if we plug in the numbers, um, we have 8.1 squared over 13 plus 1.9 squared over 9, uh, and that whole thing squared over... 8 1 squared over 13, and that whole thing squared is divided by 12, plus 1.9 squared over 9, square that whole thing, divide by 8. So I, I divide, I computed, divide the computation into three separate parts here. For the numerator, um, you can pretty much put this in the way it's written. Um, do, uh, just remember to push equals after you put, it, put in what's inside parentheses, because you want to do that first. Um, you want to follow the order of operations. So uh, 8.1 x squared divided by 13 plus 1.9 x squared divided by 9 and then push equals and then push x squared and that should give you uh, 29.681 something. Uh, then do the bottom left uh, 8 point, and again you want to push equals after you do what's in parentheses because uh, you want to do that, those, that oper those operations first. 8.1 push the x squared key, divide by 13, and then push equals, and then push x squared again, and divide by 12, uh, and that should give you um, the bottom left, the 2.122, and you can put that, store that in memory. Uh, you can maybe store each of these in memory, uh, so you don't have to retype them. Um, the bottom right, 1.9 x squared, divide by 9, and equals x squared, divide by 8, equals, and that should give you um, the um, 0 0.020111 and uh, store that in memory. And then um, if we add the numbers in the denominator, we get 2.14 something, store that in memory. Divide the top by the bottom, <coughs> we get 13.85. 
And um, so we want to uh, truncate this. Um, rather than round it, we want to truncate um, the, um, uh, the and uh, so it'll be row 13 of the T table. Um, and then uh, alpha over 2 is 0.05. Um, so this is a um, this is a two-tailed test, but uh, because we divide alpha over 2, we have um, alpha over 2 is in each tail. So that's just going to be one tail. Um, and um, so we look in alpha over 2, 0.05 column, and um, that will give us the um, upper critical value of uh, 1.771. So row 13, uh, column 0.05. 13, column 0.05, 1.77093, approximately 1.771. Um, okay, so the, the, the T table and the Z table are both symmetric. So the um, the, the, the two C scores are going to be have the um, the same will be the same except for the sign. So lower critical value will be a negative 1.771. Uh, um, okay, so then uh, a test statistic, um, x1 bar minus x2 bar, and then uh, do the subtraction, um, and then the square root of uh, s1 squared over n1 plus s2 squared over n2, and push equals. So um, that'll give you a 5.3 divided by 2.33 something, and then phi, you get approximately 2.271. And because the test statistic of 2.271 is more than our upper critical value of 1.771, reject H0 with 90% confidence, and include the, conclude the mean carbon monoxide levels are different in smoking versus non-smoking areas. Also, we could uh, estimate the, the, the p-value, uh, because our test statistic is between the one tail 0 0.01 and the 0 0.025 columns in row 13. The p-value is between 2 times 0 0.01, which is 0 0.02, and 2 times 0 0.025, which is 0 0.05, which according to the charts uh, is provides moderate evidence that the uh, carbon monoxide levels are different in smoking versus non-smoking areas. So, uh, p-value uh, between 0 0.01 and 0 0.05, it provides moderate evidence. Okay, so just a couple of notes. Um, well, it's just shortcut. Um, must be normal to, to use Welch's test, rather. Uh, uh, each, each variable must be normal, and each sample size must be at least 30. Um, and there's a, there is a shortcut um, to, uh, uh, to estimating the, the row of the t table, and that's to take the smaller of the two sample sizes. So um, some of the exercises in WebAssign, they, they ask you to use uh, the shortcut. and Actually, actually, even when they say use Welch's test, they uh, they mean use Welch's shortcut to take the smaller of the two um, sample sizes as your uh, um, row of the t-table. Another uh, uh, shortcut that WebAssign sometimes uses is um, that uh, to use the z-table instead of the t-table. So if they if they t if they say use the z-table, then use the z-table. Um, and also, there's uh, we won't go into that, but there are some procedures, um, different procedures, if the um, population variances are either known or known to be equal. Um, uh, there's different procedures that can be used that will reduce the probability of a type 2 error. Uh, but in practice, uh, the, usually the population variances are not known. Um, Okay, so we can also do a test for the standard deviations. Um, we can test uh, H naught, sigma 1 equals sigma 2, standard deviations are the same, versus uh, sigma 1 not equal to sigma 2, uh, 
standard deviations are different in smoking versus non-smoking areas. Uh, so this test uses the F table. Um, and first of all, F data. And um, usually um, it's going to be easier if, um, if you put the larger uh, standard deviation on top in the numerator. Our test statistic is uh, S1 squared divided by S2 squared. Um, and usually um, it's uh, the, because of the way our F table is set up, uh, it's going to be easier to um, uh, to find the the critical values if we put the um, uh, the larger uh, standard deviation on top. So this is 8.1 squared divided by um, 1.9 squared. Okay, so. Uh, Divided by 1.9 squared, we get 18.17. Okay, um, and then um, so the numerator degrees of freedom. Uh, our n1 minus 1, which is uh, 13 minus 1, which is 12. The denominator degrees of freedom, n2 minus 1, 9 minus 1 is 8. Uh, so the, the, sample, the, sample size, the, uh, the sample size is 13 and, and 9. So that you subtract 1, you get the degrees of freedom, uh, 12 and 8. Um, so to get the upper critical value, um, we look on the alpha over 2.05 page of the, uh, the F table um, for uh, N2 minus 1, which is row, the 8 row, and the N1 minus 1, or 12 column uh, of the F table. So um, it's going to be, uh, okay, so we've got the, the 0.05 page. So this is the F table, and this is a 0.05 page here. Um, and um, we want uh, the row, uh, row eight and column twelve. So row eight and column twelve, and uh, I get uh, three point two eight three nine four. Um, okay, so probably three point. Two eight three nine, uh, and our test statistic is more than the upper critical value, so that means we um, reject H naught with uh, ninety percent confidence. Include the standard deviations are different in smoking versus non-smoking areas. Now, um, some t F tables are set up a little bit differently. Um, I'll, I'll I'll get the one in our book. Um, so it's. So this is going to be, um, for the one in the book, uh, we're going to have the, the row group, instead of row 8, we'll have row group 8. Instead of the 0.05 page, we'll have the 0.05 row, uh, if we use the table in the book. Um, um, Table in the book, they <coughs> um, see if I have a pen here. <coughs> yeah, they, they labeled these. Um, they label these rows down here, these columns, um, uh, 10 and 12. Uh, so this, the second column is 12. Uh, so um, anyway, we want uh, row 8. Um, 
actually, let's see if I, oh, here it is, row 8 um, and column 12, and we want the row, row so it's the row group 8, and then it's row 0 0.05, and column 12, we get uh, 3.28, so it's, um, they're set up a little bit differently, but um, it's, uh, you get the same, uh, same uh, statistic. Um, <clears throat> and our, our tables are more set up for the for the upper critical values than they are for the lower critical values. It's a little bit tricky to get the um, the lower critical values. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so there's there's uh, because we put a larger sample variance on top. There's no need to compute the lower critical value here. Um, the um, Uh, to use the F uh, test, each variable must be normal. Uh, we could also test the variances, but it's actually the same test. Um, it'll be exactly the same test. For the test statistic, again, it'll be uh, S1 squared over S2 squared, 8.1 squared over 1.9 squared, 18 point something. And it'll be also the same number from uh, from the table, it's 3.28. Um, so it's exactly the same test, <coughs> whether you're testing for the mean or the variance. And uh, that concludes this presentation.